What's up? I'm Hutch, and you need to better understand abnormal breathing patterns so that you can better treat your patients with pulmonary conditions and also pass the NPTE. Normal respiration should be at a regular rate and depth, and it should be pretty quiet without too much use of accessory musculature. Dyspnea is breathlessness that may be caused by exertion, position, or some type of comorbidity. For example, orthopnea is triggered in reclined positions, and platypnea is breathlessness that occurs more in sitting or standing positions. Apnea is periods of time where there is no breathing. This happens frequently in older adults, especially while they're sleeping. It's called obstructive sleep apnea. They just have some periods of time where they are not breathing, which usually indicates a need for a CPAP or a BiPAP. Patients that have some sort of apneic periods may not like portable concentrators. Usually these will only spurt out oxygen during inspiration versus a larger stationary concentrator or oxygen tanks will spurt out oxygen constantly, forcing the person to inhale some of that oxygen even during these periods of apnea. Same idea for people that generally breathe through their mouth. They may not like the portable concentrators as much because they don't breathe in through their nose to trigger that flow of oxygen. Bradypnea is a low respiratory rate under 12 breaths per minute and can be triggered by a neurologic issue, electrolyte imbalance, or infection. However, on the flip side, it can also be due to just being trained at an extremely high level for athletes. Tachypnea is a high respiratory rate over 24 breaths per minute. Hyperpnea is an increased rate and depth of breathing, and hypopnea is a decreased rate and depth of breathing. Blots is an irregular depth and rate of breathing. This is usually seen in people with a very high intracranial pressure or medulla damage. Similarly, chain stokes breathing is periods of low depth and rate slowly returning to normal breathing. And this is often seen in patients with central nervous system damage. Kussmaul's is a pattern of really deep, really fast breathing. This is usually due to metabolic acidosis, and they're trying to breathe in as deep and as fast as they can to expel the excess CO2 and regulate that pH level. Paradoxical breathing can occur after trauma like a rib fracture or diaphragm paralysis like in a spinal cord injury, and it is when the chest will expand during exhalation, which is contrary to how normal breathing works. Now it's time for NPT Jeopardy! Pause the video now if you want time to read and think about the question. Otherwise, you've got five, four, three, two, one. This is dyspnea resulting from a recumbent or laying down position. In this position, blood from the extremities can pool in the lungs, causing pulmonary congestion and this difficulty in breathing. Hopefully that covers all of our bases. If not, you can always check out the description box below for a link to my notes. Otherwise, you can comment with questions or suggestions for videos I should do in the future. Good luck studying. Go change the world.